Hello everyone, my name's Seb Powderham. I'm one of the co-pilots with the East Anglian Air Ambulance at Helimed House, so that's our Norwich facility. We run two H145 helicopters, one in Norwich, which is just outside, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and one down at Cambridge. Without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a tasking. So we're going to imagine what happens if the phone goes off and what some of the considerations are before we walk out of the office. So if we come over to the phone, the first thing we need to do is we need to pick it up and we need to assess whether it's going to be a road job. So that's one where the medics go out in the rapid response vehicle or it's going to be a flying job. So if we pick up the phone and they start to read out a OS grid reference to us, we know it's a flying job. The pilot who's going to be flying the aircraft will start walking out and they'll start getting it started. The other pilot will grab the iPad, they'll go onto our mapping software, we'll type the OS grid reference in and we'll be able to assess a little bit of detail in what the routing is that we're going to be taking and also a little bit about the landing site that we're going to be landing in. What we'll do now is we'll take this iPad out to the aircraft, which is this way. this off. So here we are, we're airside at Norwich. At this moment the pilot who has walked out to the aircraft to get it started will have it up and running and the medics will be following close behind to uh, get into the aircraft so that we can start our pre-takeoff check so that we can get going. But now I'll give you a short tour of the H145 just to show you a few features that we've got on board and describe what exactly they do to help us on our missions. So a number of different things. If we come over here, you can see the iPad bracket that we've got up here. That's where we'll place our iPad that has the routing on it so that we know exactly where we're going and can expeditiously get to the patient's side. And also that will help us when it comes to recceing landing sites because we've got satellite imagery on there as well. As you know, at both bases, Cambridge and Norwich, we can operate throughout the hours of darkness. Here at Norwich, we're H24, so doing a 12-hour night shift all the way through. And we've got this high-intensity searchlight on the front left skid, which will help us do that. In combination with the night vision goggles, which we've got on our helmet, we can flip those down and intensify the light that this high-intensity searchlight is producing to enable us to land in pitch black, unrecceed, unlit night landing sites across our region at any time of day or night. If we come around this side, I can show you in the back of the cabin. So in the back of the cabin, we can have it in a number of different configurations with regards to the crew. So today on shift, we've got two doctors and a paramedic. That means that one of the doctors will sit in this chair here, another one will sit here, and the paramedic will sit over in that seat there. In the back of the aircraft, we've got everything that you'd find in the conventional emergency department in a hospital. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. One of the main differences with this H145 helicopter is that it's a D3. Now what that means is it's got a fifth rotor blade on the top. So what does that help us with? Well, having the fifth blade, they've got much more advanced aerofoils, so we get a much more power from the rotor head enabling us to take more load. So that's really beneficial when it comes to fuel. We can carry about 20 minutes more fuel. So what does that mean? Well, at night time, because there's a lot less airports available to us, what that means is we'll be able to fly to more patients, do longer distances, etc. Also, the downtime of the aircraft is minimized because the rotor head requires a lot less maintenance and it massively minimizes vibration, whether we're flying in smooth conditions or in turbulent air. If we come around to the back of the aircraft, I can show you inside the clamshell doors. Named for obvious reasons. There we go. So in the back here, we've got this big black bag Inside, we've got loads more medical equipment. We've got a mechanical CPR machine, which we call the Lucas. We've got a splints bag. We've got chest trauma kits in the back here as well, along with blood and lyoplas, should the patient need any of those things.
Also, this is where if we're going to fly a patient by air, the way that we load them in and out of the aircraft. So this trolley mechanism, which is the Aerolite stretcher fit, we can slide out to put the patient on and then we can slide it straight back in nice and easily. You'll also see on this aircraft that it's a skidded configuration for the landing gear. That helps us with lots of the landings that we do within our region, lots of which can be on beaches in quite marshy or damp conditions. So having the skids basically means that the aircraft won't settle too far into the ground, which makes it really nice and useful for us. So that pretty much concludes this short virtual tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and for all of your charitable donations. Every single mission, every time the red phone goes, costs us on average £3,750. So thank you very much for all of the charitable donations and we'll see you again soon.